Well, check this out. A suspected meteor was seen falling through the sky of Birmingham, England in the early hours of this morning. Home security footage posted to X, formerly Twitter, shows a bright flash of blue light streaking through the sky at around 2 a.m. This morning, according to the timestamp on the footage, the sighting happened a week after the Royal Museum's Greenwich said the Ursid meteor shower peaked. Wow, that, that looks cool. like from some kind of a sci-fi movie. I would not have thought that that was a meteor. I, that's kind of, it's kind of scary. Isn't that it? is, kinda, I was about <laughs> to say, that's kind of scary. It looks really cool though. Looks looks like, imagine seeing something here like that. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I would be shocked. It would be beautiful, but I would be a little. We barely get any snow, so I don't think we'll get any meteors. A any any <laughs> meteor showers or rain showers. Well, rain showers is kind of what actually, we're bringing yeah, in for the new year, actually. Oh. Look at mm -hmm. us, look at us. No meteors, then just rain showers. <laughs> well, Good. we're only two days away from the new year, so if you haven't wrapped up anything that you need to in 2023, I know earlier I said Christmas Eve, and I was telling Carla, I, I said, girl, I still feel like I'm in 2012, but it's okay, you know, we're, we're getting there to 2024. If you're heading outside right now to do any weekend plans, we're forecasting 52 degrees outside. Currently, no winds. Our dew point is at 11 degrees and our humidity at 19%. So make sure you're bundling up, especially if you're taking the kiddos out this evening. Make sure you're putting a jacket on them and maybe even some gloves. It does get pretty cold. Right now, across the region, down in Juarez, they're at 48 degrees. Las Cruces, 46. Rio Doso, 43. And down in Van Horn, they're at 48 degrees. Taking a look at our low temperatures tonight across the region. Here in El Paso and in Juarez, we're going to be feeling 32 degrees. Las Cruces, 29. They're below freezing. Rio Doso, 28. And down in Van Horn, 19. Van Horn, the last few days, has been, been getting pretty cold, if I would say so. El Paso, tomorrow we are forecasting a high of 62 degrees. It is going to be sunny, and we are going to be in the upper 50s and closer to 60s, so hopefully we'll stay up in those 60s. But we are going to feel 5 to 10 mile per hour winds, and our sun's going to set just 11 minutes after 5 o'clock for New Year's Eve. Taking a look at our high temperatures for tomorrow here in El Paso and in Juarez, we're forecasting 62 degrees. Las Cruces, 58. Rio Doso, 49. Cloudcroft, 36. And down in Van Horn, 67 degrees. Taking a look at your car wash forecast, you know, when I told you all you had the green light, you had it when I told you. Now, not so much. So Sunday is going to kind of be your only good day. Then Monday, Tuesday, as we bring in the new year, we're going to start to see some rain chances. So if you want to hold off maybe till the second week of January, I recommend you do so. Las Cruces, for you all, we are forecasting a high of 58 degrees. Those highs are going to be in the upper 50s. And then towards the evening, you all are going to have a partly cloudy evening as you celebrate New Year's Eve. You all are going to feel winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour and your sunrise just five minutes after seven in the morning. Taking a look at your allergy forecast Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Sunday's going to be pretty mild to high Monday, Tuesday. It dies down just a bit, so make sure you are prepared for that. Taking a look at your nine day forecast. So it's New Year's Eve. It's going to be a cloudy night, 62, so we're warming up just a bit. Then to ring in the new year, we're going to ring in some rain chances as well. 62 as a high there. Tuesday, 55 with some showers. We up those rain chances just a bit. Midweek, 57. Thursday, 60 degrees but with some showers in the evening. Friday, showers again at 53 as a high. Saturday, 56. Sunday, 59. And then the second week in January, that second Monday of the year, 52. And it's going to be pretty windy with some slight, slight rain chances that day. And special shout out to Bridget Lewis today. This was taken out in West El Paso. And she kind of described this as West El Paso awakes, right? So couldn't you just look at the sun slowly coming up, the clouds? It's, it's just a beautiful photo of the sun going away. And if you'd like to become a weather watcher, send them those photos to news at KTSM.com or to any of the social media platforms you see at the bottom of your screen. Don't